guys, iTech Apple 96 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7 on your Mac. So, we're going to get right into this here. We're going to be using Boot Camp. So, I'll go up to Spotlight and type in Boot, and then you see it, Boot Camp Assistance right here. Boot Camp Assistance, click on it, and it'll be this window will pop up. It says it allows you to install Microsoft Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7 on an Intel based Mac. Um, they recommend you back up your hard drive, your disk, your Mac stuff before you install this and make sure that you connect the power adapter because if it ever failed during the installation it wouldn't be good. So click continue. Now we get to choose how much space. So here we have the Mac OS X and here we have the 5 gig gigabyte for Windows so we can divide it equally you can use 32 big, 32 gig for Windows, but this is just a basic MacBook Pro, so it only has a 160 gigabyte hard drive. So I'm going to choose about 25 gigabyte, and make sure you have enough room on here, because if you didn't, it would slow down your Mac a lot. So there's 25 gigabyte. We're going to click Partition, and you can use whatever size you want. So click 25 gigabyte Partition. Now it's going to be partitioning the disk. It takes quite a while to uh, make a partition, and they can delete extremely fast. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop the screen recording, and I will be back when it's finished partitioning. So guys, I'm back, and now it has finished partitioning, and it wants us to install Windows XP. So now is what we're going to do is we're going to take our Windows XP installation, or Vista, or Windows 7, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it on Windows XP. So we're going to slide that disk in. And uh, I'm not, you, you guys will have to click Start Installation. I'm not going to click it because I'm on a screen recording and it'll cancel it. So uh, see you in a minute. Okay, guys? So the computer is rebooting into the Windows XP installer. So now it's just going to start its Windows XP uh, booting up for the first time here. It's kind of the stuff. So I'll be back in a second when this is done. Okay, see you later. Setup is starting Windows. So this is where it gets tricky. We're going to hold, we're going to go down here. We're going to select Boot Camp. Make sure you select Boot Camp or else it could be bad. So select Boot Camp, click Enter. And we're going to click up here, Format the Partition Using NTFS File System Quick. Okay, Enter. Press F. Now Setup is Formatting. I'll be back in a minute. Computer's restarting. It's, now it's starting the long and boring Windows XP installation. It seems to go on and on. Don't press any key to it from CD. Do not press it. Unless it'll start over again. Windows XP.
decompressing. Okay, so here's the installation. This should run for approximately 40 to 35 minutes. So I'll be back when this installation is finished.